Hi everybody, I wanted to do a real quick video on a new rifle case that I picked up because I really like this one and I was interested in this one and when I was trying to do some research on it looking around I wasn't finding a whole lot. I didn't see too many videos or, or write-ups online. There, there was one other video I saw. A guy did a really good job uh, talking about the case but it was for the longer version. It was for I think it's a 47 or 42 inch probably. Anyhow, I have a uh, 32 inch carbine length AR-15 that I wanted to get this case for and I didn't see any videos on this size or how the rifle would fit in there so I wanted to go ahead and shoot one real quick. This case is the US Peacekeeper Rapid Assault Tactical case. That's that's a mouthful but I think they call it a rat for short. Anyways I just need something to take my rifle to the gun range. Um, but these things are made real nice. The, the fabric on it, the nylon's nice and heavy. As you can see here on the bottom, they actually put drain, I guess they're either drain holes or vent holes in case the thing would get wet in some way. So you have a way to, to get that out of there, which is a nice touch. I'm going to try to do this one hand that I'm shooting this with my cell phone. There's a, a nice pouch here on the outside, which I really like this. It, it, it's kind of discreet. It's not like having a bunch of mag pouches on the outside, but... It really, it's very functional. On the inside of this thing, you can see, let me try to do this. It comes with this mag holder, which they say that these things will hold two 30 round mags a piece. I was able to squeeze, and I mean squeeze, two 30 round P mags into each one, but they are tight. It's a much better fit if you just put one magazine in each one of those. It comes with a nice padded strap. It does have metal hardware on the ends, which is a nice touch. And it's also got this little thing here that can be adjusted. I, I don't know if it's really meant to be a holster. Um, you can put you can put a handgun in there. That's a there we go. That's a Walther PPQ that you can see how it sort of fits in there, but. I would never do that. I would never use it for that. I mean, I guess it could be used that way, but I have a, a separate range bag that I take out when I have handguns with me, so I wouldn't do that. But the nice thing about this pouch is, I mean, you can you can see the size of it. It's a decent-sized pouch. It runs almost the full length of the case. I mean, you could literally just fill this with magazines if you needed to. So the fact that these only, you know, easily hold three, it says they hold six, but I, like I said, even though you can only get three in there, you could probably put goodness you know 15 mags or better in this outer pouch which is you know more than enough now let me see if i can get this handle apart here with one hand but this ought to be fun oh and there is a, a small zip pocket on the back side of this thing it's not padded or anything but, you know just another another place to be able to put a few items but then the main compartment of this and this is what i was sort of hoping to see when i was looking for other people's videos was how it holds an ar and as you can see it's the perfect size now this is the 36 inch case and that's a that's a, a smith and wesson m p 15 sport standard 16 inch barrel the gun is 32 inches overall with the buttstock collapse just like most standard carbine length ars out there right now so that gives you an idea how it fits. Obviously, you cannot put it in the bag with 30-round mag in the in the gun, but you could lay it down here separate, but, I mean, you wouldn't need to because, like I said, you've got all that space there. Um, you see, you do have room for an optic. This is a, a Vortex Spark 2, and I do have it on the... Uh, I do have the spacer in here to do a, a lower one-third co-witness. So this optic is mounted about as high as I would want to mount it on this gun, and you can see there's still plenty of room there. So it's got a nice protection, a uh, little baffle here to keep the keep the gun away from the zipper. You're not going to be hitting that. Um, another nice feature about this is you can see here the Velcro, the closed cell foam padding that's in here can be removed from both halves, from, from the, the front and the back of the case in case something would ever get really wet. If this case would just get absolutely drenched, you can take the, you could take it all apart, take the padding out, air everything out, dry it out real well, which is kind of a nice feature. But I really like this. It's made well. This is actually my third attempt at getting a case that fits my needs for this particular rifle. 
I started off getting in one that's um, had the M&P logo on it. It was their standard black AR-15 case with the mag pouches on the outside. And I got to tell you, that thing was made well. It was built like a tank. But I wasn't paying attention. It was my fault. And I actually ordered the 42-inch, or it might even have been longer than that. I forget. But it was just way longer than I needed. I had too much extra space in there. didn't care for it. So I sent that back, and then I ordered a UTG case, which was similar. It was, uh, you know, the standard black AR-15 case with the mag pouches. And the UTG case ripped. On there. Actually, the, the stitching came apart along the seam at the zipper, like, the second time I zipped it. So, I mean, it was, it was just junk. So that went back, and now I got this. Um, I did pay a little bit more for this. Uh, I, I think I paid... I want to say I paid $60 maybe for this, or $64. I think it was $64.99. Um, this is February of 2015, so at the time that I shot this, at the time of shooting this video, this case was $64.99 on Amazon. And um, again, yeah, just really like it. It's made well, and just wanted to put something out there for guys that might be interested in it, because I know, like I said, when I was trying to see some videos of it, there weren't too many out there. So, thanks for watching.